Hey guys and welcome to Vlogtober part 4. This seems to be going really quickly. Hope you are enjoying it so far. Last time, last time, last week's last Vlogtober was very much like countryside, hanging out with the family and this time it's kind of the opposite. Lots of things going on in London. Starting with tonight, it's already five o'clock so slightly weird time to start a vlog but I was not really doing anything exciting today, just work and emails. Um, so I'm about to head out now and got quite an exciting evening but I thought before I go, as usual, I'm just going to give you a little outfit of the day. So I'm wearing this Dorothy Perkins gilet, you might have seen I included the brown one in my September favourites video and I also mentioned I had the pink one and that's this. Then this is just a roll neck top from Topshop with the nice little frilly sleeves um, and my usual Swarovski necklace. Light pink jeans from Zara. Tell and Muffy boots and I'm going to be wearing my usual Radley handbag. explain what we were doing this evening so I was in a bit of a rush leaving the house um, but as you might be able to see behind me we've just come to the premiere of the new season of Made in Chelsea not sure what season it is but the new season we are here in the Ham Yard Hotel and as you can see down there it's really packed so Charlie and I have been banished to the upstairs and so far we're the only ones in the upstairs area, area. so um, yeah private viewing of Made in Chelsea looks like the cars are starting to arrive down there I'm meant to be interviewing them later but I mean like what do I say First world problems. Well, so May the 9th, it was 2011. The girl called Peggy Dunlop got to the car and said, Take me to Chelsea. The world answers. There is only the world answers. Thank God. Thank God, indeed. Um, can I just quickly tell the story about the world answers? When we found the world answers, somebody ran in and went, we found someone who is, is I, I can't believe they're real. And I'm like, yeah, look at this type. And I went, like, he, wow, oh my god, I didn't know what to do with them. Let's just put them on the shelf and see what happens. I mean, and it's fantastic, obviously. And here we are, 10 series later. And you're real! Good <laughs> Take me to Chelsea, please. watching the first episode in the series really entertaining always I always am amazed that they've managed to make all the episodes really entertaining what do you think Charles yeah good very good very good <laughs> awkward vlogger lots of good fashion as always and lots of stitching each other up but yeah it's really funny I thought it was definitely one of the funnier episodes that we've seen lots of giggling moments and it's really nice having the cast like sitting down below as well and obviously lots of friends and family in the audience all laughing along so we're gonna go and have some drinks now it's Thursday morning last night was so much fun I didn't really vlog once I got home but as you saw Charlie and I went to the premiere of season 10 of Main Chelsea it was so much fun all the cast were there a few of them I met a couple times before but it was just it was so different watching it with the cast there like really funny hearing them laughing along and I guess it's the first time that they'd seen it as well so it must be really funny seeing like the behind the scenes bits so I'm not gonna give not behind the scenes but you know when they're talking about each other and they're not there, you know what I mean? Like, it would be really, I don't want to give anything away, but yeah, really good first episode, really funny, and um, yeah, I just can't wait to watch the rest of the season. So that was really good fun. Charlie and I came home, gave Dexter lots of kisses, and then um, went to bed, so not too much to report on last night. Today I've woken up and it's absolutely beautiful outside, literally the sunniest, most lovely morning, really cool and crisp. It's only about nine o'clock right now, I've had quite a lazy morning. Charlie and I didn't get to bed until maybe one o'clock. Um, so yeah, I had a bit of a lie in, which I don't normally do, very unusual, I didn't get out of bed until like half seven, which is crazy for me. And I've just been catching up on emails and watching a few YouTube videos this morning. I've been having loads of trouble with my skin recently actually, I've just, I've just done my makeup as you can see, um, and even through my foundation, and I put on quite a high coverage foundation this morning, 
you can still see my pores like they're, they're, they've been quite bad recently without makeup on but never before have I put my makeup on and you've st still been able to see them I don't think you'll be able to tell from this camera but it's really bad like you can actually see the pores through my makeup so if anyone has any recommendations on something I can try to like clear them up then let me know because it's really stressing me out Dexter's obviously having a hard morning aren't you little man look at that how am I supposed to get any work done when you're so cured? Oh, oh, oh. Before the premiere um, yesterday, I also went into Topshop, picked up a few pieces. Don't know if it's the same anywhere else, but in the UK we're now getting charged for carrier bags. So I'm now taking tote bags with me everywhere. Um, if I have any viewers in other countries, let me know if it's just the UK or not. But these are just three pieces I picked up from Topshop. So I got this little bag thought quite a handy size, quite 70s, thought that was really lovely. This jumper, I just kind of fell in love with the colour, thought that'd be really practical. Nice, very autumnal colour, and it would look really cute with this skirt. No surprise, me buying another suede skirt, but yeah, I thought this was really lovely. Quite pricey, £80, and I haven't tried it on yet, so hopefully this will look really nice. Snapchatting all the time is I always lose track as to what I've vlogged and what I've just been doing on Snapchat. On the plus side, I have been actually using my Snapchat more, which is really good. Um, so I don't know if I'm explaining what I'm doing now, I'm just coming to town on Argyle Street and I'm just about to go into the benefit store on Carnaby Street to have a Vita de Bras spray tan. Um, if you guys watch my fashion week vlogs, you'll know that I love I'm getting a Vita de Bras, Vita de Bras spray tan. So yeah, I'm just going to get one now, so I'm all nice and tanned up for the weekend. this afternoon I'm really excited going for an afternoon tea at the Barclay um, with some of my favourite girls and Barclay is literally my favourite place in the world for afternoon tea because you might have seen on my blog I've done a few reviews of that but they basically make all the cakes and biscuits look like fashion things so you have like beverage trench cook cookies Valentino handbag cakes so really really nice so off at there now so I'm in the Barclay and look who I'm with Sabrina and Gemma who you guys know very well um, I don't think I've ever vlogged in the Barclay before but um, yeah so the tea as I was just saying is based around spring summer I think it was spring summer maybe autumn winter fashion trends um, the menu which is this bright green or pink menu changes all the time I don't think I've had this menu since so the spring summer spring summer 15 they need to they need to catch up so um, yeah the cakes will all be based around fashion items and the crockery is really colourful as well. It's, I think this is Wedgwood. Yeah, Wedgwood crockery designed just for the Barclay. I think we're okay. Sandwiches. Look at all this food. Sugar leaf to decorate it. Oh, it's so cool. Do you want my cup? Oh, it's a raspberry mousse with spoon sugar on the top. That is incredible. And by Alexander McQueen's head. We have a Jandu Yadon with pretty butterfly to decorate it. That is incredible. Thank you. <laughs> so we had a really lovely afternoon tea at the Barclay, left feeling really full and then we rushed off to the Bear Minerals Christmas event and they launched some really lovely gift sets. So I will show you those when I get home or maybe I'll show you them in the morning because I never really feel like vlogging when I'm home with my makeup looking dreadful. Um, but yeah, just heading home now after Bear Minerals. So I shall see you guys in the morning. 
So today is Dexter's first day joining me for meetings. I'm also having to carry, oh, you didn't see that, um, but a big bag of Krispy Kreme donuts. So carrying Krispy Kreme donuts and a dog because somebody is in a bit of a strop and refuses to walk by himself. So it's not been terribly easy, um, but it's quite fun taking him to the meetings. Everybody seems to really, really love him and he's been getting so many kisses. So that's been fun. Just trying to find a restaurant now where I'm meeting um, Sunglasses Hut for lunch. So I will vlog later. Hey guys, so I have all oh, dirty, dirty lens. <laughs> I've been really bad at um, vlogging today, so I'm really sorry about that, but as you saw very briefly earlier, I took Dexter with me today, and it's very hard trying to vlog when you have a little boy in one of your arms, so I didn't vlog. But I'll tell you what I did. Um, I basically, actually I just went for a couple of meetings, it wasn't even that exciting. But what is exciting is I am now the proud owner of a Krispy Kreme red card, which basically means I get a box of 12 donuts every month for the rest of the year. And I basically am doing like a little, a little campaign with them on the blog. And it's promoting, this video isn't sponsored by the way, I just thought I'd tell you about it because it's genuinely really cool. It's promoting their Friends of Krispy Kreme and if you sign up, you get a free donut um, for signing up, a free donut on your birthday, and yeah, I just think it's really cool and it's free to sign up, so why wouldn't you? Um, but yeah, I'll leave the blog down below if you want to read it. As I said, this bit isn't sponsored, but it's genuinely an amazing campaign, so I thought I would tell you about it. I have just photographed them. Look, Dexter is trying to pull that balloon down. <laughs> you hooligan! He's been such a bad boy since he got home. He's been a little mad, mad little monkey. Um, so yeah, I just rushed home to photograph them before the light went, so I think the blog post is going out well, hopefully before this video goes out because yeah, it's, it's I, I really like the photos, so definitely go and check that out. Oh, and let me show you what the um, what the gold card came with because this is really cool. I've got it hanging up next to my dressing gown. This is a Krispy Kreme Varsity jacket. I'm gonna have to show you this on because it's really pretty spectacular. Yeah, so I was probably just as excited about this um, jacket as I was about the free donuts. Actually, I lie, I was definitely more excited about the donuts, but let me go through to the other room where the lighting is a little bit better and I can show you. Here's my donuts that I picked up. 12 donuts, all freshly photographed. The room behind me is a little bit of a bomb site. That's Charlie's packing mess down there. Um, I don't even think, yeah, I don't have a little boy today because I've got my hair done up. I just realized I don't have any hair. You know those days when you just want to be comfy and you just don't really want to make any effort? Luckily, I just had two meetings today, which were just, you know, quite casual. So I had to really do much of my hair or makeup, as you can see. Anyway, um, yeah, Charlie and I are going to Amsterdam tomorrow, which is really exciting. Neither of us have been to Amsterdam before. We've made a little itinerary. We've been speaking to all of our friends that have been there before, and we've got a few things to do. But if you guys have got any recommendations on places to go, then definitely tweet me. Um, so yeah, it should be really good fun. Tonight it's Charlie's little brother's 23rd birthday, so heading back to Charlie's family house and we are going to be leaving Dexter with mummy for um, a few days. Good morning, it is Saturday morning um, and we're not doing the usual Saturday thing this week. No rugby today, well there is a game but Charlie and I are off to Amsterdam this afternoon so we don't have time or Charlie doesn't have time to play. So I'm with Mama and, <laughs> and we are about to head off to a garden centre. Woo! Wild lives that we lead. Uh, just because I wanted to get some nice autumnal or fall items for the house. I don't, I don't really know what I've got in mind and also I think they have some quite cool Halloween decorations in the garden centre that we're going to so we're going to um, check that out quickly meet Charlie there maybe um, yeah maybe get some Halloween bits because Charlie and I do a really big Halloween party every year which hopefully I'll be able to cover in vlogtober we pretty much have all the decorations we could ever need but there's always room for more so yes I will take you along with me there and little boys are coming to help Dexter came in the shower with me yesterday, accidentally, because Mum's shower is like a walk-in shower. Um, and Dexter thought it'd be fun to uh, come and stand under the water, so he's nice and clean. Technically his first ever shower. Look at these! So cool! Oh my gosh! These are so cool!
just looking for somewhere to eat. There is an armadillo. Uh, I think this is Jamie's Italian here, so we're definitely going to go and head up there. And yeah, we've got a couple of hours until our flight. It's a 45 minute long flight, so literally the world's shortest flight. But yeah, first food. Trying to think oh, yeah. which Temple. case to get. They, I wish they had the flamingo in the six plus, but I think they've only got it in That's a six. That's really cool. So I might get this one. What do you think? Oh wow, it's got glitter in it. That's awesome. Uh, I'm gonna get summer truffle risotto. How can you say no to the summer truffle risotto? I know, but I'm really in the mood for the burger. So this is my starter, and that's Charlie's. Okay, <laughs> he got mugged off. <laughs> Here's my truffle risotto, which smells absolutely amazing. How are you feeling about the burger? Pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty damn good. <laughs> Amazing. Also, love these plates. So nice. That is a serious burger. 